Okay, let's look at the last one, the last of the terminologies. That is autosum. Autosum. Autosum is a feature that um, Excel has introduced. And autosum is a special feature that helps you to calculate automatically add all figures that has been highlighted. If you highlight any figure automatically, it will be what added when you click on what autosum. So let's look at the um, the autosum. This is autosum. The icon for autosum. The icon for autosum is the same as what we call sigma. Some call sigma or some call summation. When you are dealing with, um, but in mathematics, when you are dealing with data, that's handling of data, we talk about um, addition, that's summation fx. is the same as what autosum, when you come to what Excel. Summation is the same as what autosum, when we come to what Excel. Now, we have already spoken about cell names. And we said every cell within express, uh, express sheet has a name. And this is called a cell name or cell address. And the cell name is identified where? In the word name box. The cell name is identified where? In the word name box. That is where we have highlighted as red. Then the content of the cell will appear where? In the formula bar. The content of the cell will appear in the formula bar. Now, I want us to look at some few um, formulas or formulae that we'll be using when we start our practical uh, our practical demonstration. The first one is equal to sum. Now, anytime we use equal to sum, it simply means it allows you to add numbers. Equal to sum add, allow you to what? add numbers. When we use equal to max or we use equal to mean, then we are talking about helping you find the maximum number when we are talking about max and minimum number when we are talking about what mean. Then we have product. I know product shouldn't be any problem for you because everyone understands what product is. But well, if you don't understand product, product simply means what multiplication. Product simply means multiplication, but there is a symbol for multiplication. There is a symbol for multiplication, and that is what we call asterisk. We will be looking at asterisk as multiplication. Then we have average. We all know what average is. Average. So when you use equal to average, then it helps you what find the average of what a group or a selected group of numbers. Now, at this juncture, I want us to look at a little demonstration. Um, when we open our Excel sheet, I have prepared one for you so that I want us to go through them and see how best we can use these formulas when using Excel. So, this is our spreadsheet. This is our spreadsheet. And now, in this spreadsheet, we have The first one here, that is month, and the whole of column A, I've just highlighted column A, is for months. Then column B is for sales. Column C is for expenses. Column C is for expenses. Then column D is for profits. So this is more or less, let's say maybe you are into buying and selling. And for the month of January, the amount of sale you made is this. Then in the month of February, you made 214 CDs. 
and your expenses for each month is also under the expenses so after buying and making expenses what is your profit so how do you do these calculations now we are about to go out of school we will be finding ourselves doing one or two uh, businesses or one or two or helping mommy or daddy some of us will be going out to sell we can use excel or the application of excel in what our daily buying and selling so that we know the amount of profit we are making and all those things so in this instance we have what sales and we have expenses how do i find my profit simple mathematics if i am I'm making a sale of 241 and i am spending 250 to find my profit i first have to what subtract my expenses for what my sales so subtracting expenses from sales will give you your profit so when you look at the numbers under sales and the numbers as under expenses we subtract them from what sales to get our what, profit i'm going to claim the whole of the profit i'm going to claim the whole of profit so Going to clean the whole of profit. Delete. 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 Now, how do we find our profit? We said to find our profit, we have to subtract what expenses from sales. Now, remember that I said that in Excel, we don't use what numbers when we are writing formulas but we rather use what the cell names or the cell references so in this instance to subtract two four sorry to subtract two one five from two four one this is what we are going to do since it's subtraction we are not going to use any specific formula let's use a simple formula which is equal to that we have our bracket We have our bracket then we select the first cell which is where do we find the january the seal for january that is what cell what b3 so we can easily write what cell b3 then it's highlighted or for cell c3 i'm not going to write it let me bring my subtraction side then i can also select you can either select or write and in both ways you are going to get the same result now when you are done writing the formula you bring your what you close your bracket then you press enter automatically it has calculated our profit for us we can go on with the next one which is equal to bracket then we have we select the first one subtract from the second one then we close our bracket then we press enter that is how to subtract it's very simple we can also use equal to let's finish with our subtraction when we are done with our subtraction we can start with the addition okay so we are done with our subtraction then let's look at how to find the total when we want to find the total let me take off all these totals let me take off all these totals how do i find the total for the sales remember that we said we can simply use 
AutoSum to calculate for everything we have highlighted. Now, I have selected cell C4. It's already C14. And it can be what's identified in the name box here. I want to calculate for the whole of this cell. Sorry, the one I've highlighted. I'll just press my auto sum. So, auto sum, it has calculated from cell C3 to cell C13. That's not what I want. I want up to cell C8. So, I can easily adjust it to cell C8. Then, I press enter. It has calculated the whole of what the expenses for us. Now, let's try our hands on the next one which is sales we can what just press auto sum and press enter it has calculated what for us now we want to find the profit we can either what add the whole of profit so let's use the other formula for adding which is equal to now in addition if you are not using the auto sum Maybe you want to add just two figures instead of the whole figure. You can just click or you can just type sum. Then you break your brackets. Anytime you break a bracket, then you are defining what you are what adding. If you want to add, you define by using the word brackets. So our bracket is going to define. So number one, I'm going to have this. Then I can bring a comma, this, another comma, this, comma, select the next cell, next cell, and the last cell, then I bring my, I close my bracket, then I press enter, then it calculates for me. There is also another way of doing it. Instead of writing the whole or selecting all those cells, you can easily use a simple formula, which is selecting the first cell, which is cell D3. Now, here you have to determine the last cell you want to add. And the last cell we want to add is well, cell D8. So to do that, we have to what, use what we call colon. Then we select our next cell, which is cell what? D8. So immediately I selected cell D8, you realize that it has highlighted the whole of what? The cell, which remember we said is called what? A range. When a cell, a range is what? When a cell or a group of cells or cell names are selected. So from the first to the last, it is separated by what? A colon. So this is what? A range. Then we press enter. Then we have our figure for, uh, how do we call it? Our profit. Now, we made mention of, we made mention of, how do we call it? The product and average. So let's try our hands on product and average. Then we can move on to our questions and answers session. Okay. Now, products and average. I want to multiply let's say cell B14 that is the total prof um, sales I'm going to multiply total sales and what the total expenses that is cell C14 so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to do that right under okay, let me put it under D cell D16 so I'll put my equal to sign then I have my product so I can select from the list product so I have my bracket then I select the first one Second one, and press enter. I selected the first one, brought a comma, and selected the next one, and I multiplied, and I have my words. I had 
1,703,916. So in multiplication, we can use what? Product. But there's another way of multiplying in Excel, and that is using equal to... So I'm going to multiply them again using the other method. I bring my brackets. I select the first cell, sorry, that's B14. Then I select the multiplication sign. Remember I said multiplication sign. Please, the multiplication sign is not X or the times. It you rather uses what? Asterisk. So in Excel, multiplication is what? Asterisk. Then I select the next word cell, which I want to multiply it by. Then close, this, close my brackets, then press enter. And I still had the same word result. So in multiplication, it is very simple and very easy. What about minimum and maximum? Now, for minimum and maximum, let me put it here. Let me write maximum. Then the next one will be minimum. So let's start with the maximum. We want to know our maximum profit and our minimum profit. So first we have to what? write equal to, then write max. After writing your max, please don't write maximum. Just write what? Max. Then you have your bracket. Then you select the first one. You can bring your colon and the last one. It will what? Range it. Then you close your bracket. So our maximum profit is what? 374. And when you check through the list, the highest profit was what? 374. What about minimum? Minimum, that means we are going to what? Have to go through the same process. Instead of minimum, we will write what? Mean. So we have equal to M-I-N, then bracket, select the first one, then we bring our colon, then we select the next, the last one, press enter. And we have our minimum to be what? 26. And indeed, if you check our, from the, our table, we realize that the minimum profit that was made was 26. So I hope you've had an understanding when it comes to Excel. It's very simple and very easy to do. So what have we learned so far? We have already been able to what, use the formula sum. We've been what, able to use maximum and minimum. We've done what product. Why on your own? Why don't you try doing what average? On your own, try doing average. So we have already looked at some features. And I think with this few explanations, you should be able to answer any simple or any, any question on Excel. It shouldn't be difficult. It shouldn't be difficult at all. You should know how to um, identify a cell name and a, or a cell reference. Remember, a cell name and a cell reference is made up of what? The column and the row. Where the column meets the row is what um, where they meet or the intersection becomes our what, our cell name. And also that's where we get our cell name from. And that's where we get our cell from. And remember, the cell name can be identified in what our name box. And just after the name box, the content of that cell can be identified in our what, formula bar. Okay. So we will end. Uh, lesson here why don't we take some short questions and see how best we can do with our answers with what we have learned to be very simple very easy and these questions are from the BEC right from 2012 to 2018 I just have picked them and I want us to try our best so they are both objective and subjective but we'll start with the objective first and see so Let's look at our questions. The first question says, a mathematical calculation is a spreadsheet 
in a spreadsheet is called reversible. A mathematical calculation in a spreadsheet is called, remember when you are adding in spreadsheet, what is it called? Remember I mentioned it to you. The intersection of the eighth row and the seventh column in a spreadsheet application will have the cell reference. And remember, I know you know what a cell reference is. I don't think you should forget by now. The next set of questions. A spreadsheet name is referenced by a A, let, letter, B, number, C, letter and number, a D, number and letter. Question four. But, hello, Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Samuel. Yes, yeah, Samuel. Good Hi. evening. Evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. How was your day in school today? Very fine, indeed. Okay, so with a line of questions that we have, which question do you want to answer? Question one. Question one. Yes. Okay, it says a mathematical calculation in a spreadsheet is called A, label, B, formula, C, number, D, value. What is the answer, Samuel? Formula. Formula. That is very good. You have done really well. You are dead. I can see that you are dead. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Osmanu. Hello, Osman. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Which form are you in? I'm in form three. Form three. So which question yes. are you answering for us? Question two. Question two. Yes, sir. So it says the intersection of eighth row and the seventh column in a spreadsheet application will have the cell reference B. B, that is G8. Osmanu, yes. what yes, is a cell reference? A cell reference. Yes, sir. A cell reference is the cell name. Thank you very much. You have done really well. Thank you for calling. Caleb? Hello, Hello Caleb. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing, Caleb? I'm good, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kumasi. Kumasi. Yeah. Which form are you in? Form three. Form two? Three. Form three. Form three. So which question are you answering for us? Question two. Question two. Yeah. Caleb, why don't you try question three? Osmanu just answered question two for us. But all the same, try question two, then let's go back to question three. You try that one also, then we see. I know you can do it. So what's the answer for question two? Question two, G, B. G, what? G, eight. G very eight. good, Sorry. very good. Now, why don't you try question uh, three? Ah. It says a, a spreadsheet name is referenced by A. A spreadsheet name is referenced by A. Letter, B, number, C, letter and a number. D, a number and a letter. A letter and a number. Very good. Clap for yourself. You've done really, really well. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Who am I speaking to? Hello? Hello. Yeah, who am I speaking to? I'm Kwamina. Kwamina, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Akwetia. Akwetia, Akwetia. That's good of you to call and good of you to learn. Now, mathematical calculations in a spreadsheet are called um, formulas. formulas. Thank you very much for calling. You have answered it right, and that was the right answer. Clap for yourself. Adams. Hello, Hi. Adams. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Where are you calling from, Adams? Obuasi. Obuasi, Obuasi. I can see a lot of people calling from Obuasi. Which form are you in, Adams? Form 3. Form 3. Adams, can you help us in answering question 5? Which, the question is, which of the following term in a spreadsheet is identified by a letter and a column? Sorry, a number. Which of the following terms in a spreadsheet is identified by a letter and a number. A, colon, B, cell, C, range, 
a D row. Column. A colon. Let me read a question once again. Which of the following terms in a spreadsheet is identified by a letter and a number? So over here, they are talking about a letter and a number, not the letter alone or a number alone. Both letter and number. So what is your answer again? Cell. A cell. Very good. You've done really, really well. Take our last caller. Peter. Yeah. Peter, how are you doing? Hello, Peter. Oh, we just lost Peter. Okay. So there, there are a lot of questions, but don't worry. We'll be putting it on our um, social media handles for you to also go through the questions. By the way, we've learned a lot today. And once again, let me go over the last time some technologies that we close this lesson. We have what? Column. And we said columns are what? Spaces that run from what? Up or from the top to the down, or from north to the south. Rows run from what, or they run across the worksheet, which is from what, east to the west. Then when we talk about a cell, a cell is the meeting point of a row and a column. So where they intersect is what we call a cell. Then we have a range. We have workbook. We said a workbook is a file in what, Excel. And a worksheet is what, a sheet or a page in a workbook. Now, when we talk about range, it is what a group of cells reference, uh, cell references denoted by what a colon between the first and the last. When the colon separates two cells, we call that a range. And the last but one, active cell. An active cell is a cell that has been highlighted and data can be entered into. AutoSum is the what a special feature that helps you to what add all highlighted what highlighted cells. Now, I know we are going for the weekend, and this weekend shouldn't be a happy and a play time. We are preparing for our BC, so we should be what we should be serious with our studies. As our motto goes, when we say joy learning, we say what keep learning. We will meet you next time.